Hey, what's up everyone? Kobanaman456 here today, presenting you all a news update series on an upcoming game called Sonic Runners, which was officially confirmed by Sega just a few days ago. And I apologize about being a little bit late on uploading a video about this, but I've been sick over the past few days, so it's been really hard to record. But now that I'm feeling a little bit better, I thought I'd go ahead and give you all a news roundup and an opinions video on what I think about this game, as we've gotten some interesting info so far, and also some rumors, and if they are actually true, then I'm really excited about this game, and I hope you all will be as well. But let's go ahead and get into what we know so far officially. So a few days ago, in Japan, at one of Sega's Joyopolis amusement parks, Takashi Izuka went up on stage at a Sonic fan event and confirmed that the next big project from Sonic Team is indeed Sonic Runners, which is coming out in 2015 for mobile devices. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is sadly all we know so far about this game, as we didn't get a trailer, pictures, heck, not even a logo. This is all we know so far. And even though it is just a little morsel of info, I think this is pretty huge news. As, okay, we already know that Sonic games have been on mobile devices in the past. There's been Sonic Jump Fever, Sonic Dash, all the classic games that have been ported over to mobile devices, all that jazz. But this is like the first time the official Sonic team, Sega's Japanese development team, has confirmed that their big project is on a mobile device. And the first thing that, that, that was like the first thing that caught my eye and made me think, wait a sec. Could this possibly be Sonic's next big game for 2015? And it makes sense. And I'm going to get into that right now. Because I know some of you all are probably like, Oh, I wanted it for PS4 or Xbox One. And I'm not going to lie. I was kind of the same too. I wanted it to be, you know, 1080p, 60 frames per second. Woo! <laughs> but it makes sense that, you know, this could possibly be the next big Sonic game. Because, okay, so we already know is that Sonic games don't sell too well on Microsoft and Sony consoles, and that they sell best on Nintendo consoles. So that's one reason why Sega and Nintendo had that three-game partnership where three of Sonic's games would be exclusively on Nintendo consoles. So we got Sonic Lost World, Mario and Sonic at the Sachi Winter Olympic Games, and Sonic Boom. Well, guess what? Those games didn't do too hot, and <laughs> Sonic Lost World, I believe, produced the best numbers out of all of them, but they still weren't amazing. And then Mario and Sonic at the Sachi Winter Olympic Games produced some really underwhelming numbers, especially compared to previous installments in the Mario and Sonic series. And then Sonic Boom! Very deservingly, I don't know the sales figures officially, but very deservingly, didn't do too well either. <laughs> so, you know, those are three games that were on Nintendo consoles exclusively. And these are, you know, that's where Sonic sells best. And they didn't do too well. So it's just like, holy crap, where does Sonic go now? You know, it doesn't, it already doesn't do too well on Sony and Microsoft consoles. So where else to go but mobile? Because mobile, Sonic actually does really well. You know, Sonic Dash has been number one quite a few times on the App Store, multiple times. And you know, it is free and all that stuff, but a lot of people actually put money down to buy like the extra characters, extra lives, all that stuff to keep their score higher and higher. So it's like kind of like an addiction game, <laughs> but it does well. You know, all those games sell really well. And, you know, just the thing, Hey, this is a free Sonic game. What if Sega actually put, you know, a lot of time and effort and money into a fully fledged Sonic game on a mobile device? That could be really something awesome. As, you know, we already know that mobile devices are getting much more stronger. Like, we see graphics now on mobile devices that are on par, and sometimes even better, than Xbox 360 and PS3. And it's just like, whoa! You know, Sonic Dash runs at like 60 frames and looks HD. Like, it looks better than freaking Sonic Boom! Like, just imagine, like I said, if Sega actually used a lot of money towards a mobile game to make it look super polished and like a console game. 
that would be really really awesome and it would be a lot more accessible to everybody because you know mobile games are on you know an incline like they're going up and up in sales so it's just like this is actually a pretty smart idea and i know some of you all may be a little bit disappointed like oh no the controls the controls are going to be pretty bad and honestly i am a little bit concerned about that but there are other devices that play mobile games, like there's an NVIDIA Shield, you know, there are other like little add-ons that you can get for phones to where you can get like analog sticks, all that stuff. So it's pretty cool. I think uh, this game would be really, really awesome to see. And this leads me into the rumors I want to talk about. As a few days ago on, I believe it was Sonic Stadium boards, I'm not sure, um, someone posted it, that this was going to be a full Sonic game on smartphones and that it would actually have cutscenes with voice acting the gameplay would be pretty much like sonic unleashed and that in-app purchases weren't going away but they would be less annoying this time around and that chip would possibly make a cameo so what if this game was actually a sequel to sonic unleashed like that would be so insane but so awesome because sonic unleashed was a fantastic game and no we're not talking about werehog stages we're talking about daytime stages but yeah, it actually makes sense because it says here in-app purchases aren't going to go away. So it will still have something very similar to Sonic Dash to where you buy things with actual money and unlock certain stuff, but it wouldn't be as, you know, predominant as, you know, as it is in uh, Sonic Dash. And then this leads me into the next rumor that was released earlier today, where it talks about possible playable characters. And those are Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy, Shadow, Silver, Blaze, Metal Sonic, Cream, Espio, and Rouge. And then he adds here another thing. This game looks really good for a mobile game. Looks almost as good as Unleashed. And I find this super believable because like I said, mobile devices can produce graphics on par with 360 and PS3 games. And in fact, run even better. Like I said, Sonic Dash runs at 60 frames per second, so this game may run at 60 frames. But the one reason why I actually believe that this playable character thing may be true is because you look at Sonic Dash, and that's kind of like the perk. That's the incentive for actually, you know, using money towards Sonic Dash because you can get these unlockable characters and they have different animations and you know everyone's like oh shadow i love shadow or you know i love amy or whatever or rouge you know rule 34 <laughs> i don't know but you know people love extra characters in sonic games and that could possibly be what's actually you know something you have to buy as an in-app purchase for this game extra characters and it's just like whoa you know this all ties in perfectly like beautifully like this could actually be a thing and you know, like I said, nothing is confirmed. We know nothing so far besides that it's coming out in 2015 and for mobile devices. But with all this stuff that's being said, it doesn't seem too far-fetched at all. And I actually find it very, very believable. And if it is, I'm so excited, man. This is going to be so awesome. And like I said, I know some people may be a little bit like, oh, what about the controls and all that stuff? But it's like, you know, We've seen other devices besides just phones actually support phone games. Like, I play Sonic Dash on my NVIDIA Shield sometimes, and it's just like, huh, this could this could actually work. This could be something pretty fun. You know, the controls are my only concern for the game so far, but I think it can work. If Sega knows what they do, like, if Sega knows what they're doing and they implement them just right. But yeah, that's pretty much all we know so far. You know, those are the rumors. Just wanted to give you a little bit of uh, my opinions, my speculation, kind of tie some things together. So let me know in the comments below. What do you all think? Are you excited about Sonic Runners for mobile devices? What would you like to see in the next big Sonic game if it were on a mobile device? And uh, are you interested in picking this game up? Even though, well, t we haven't seen anything so far. So I guess it's a little bit too early to ask that. But let me know if you're excited, because I am. And, you know, I'm very, very interested to see what this game is going to look like and what it's all about. As uh, it is from Sonic Team, and Sonic Team produces some pretty fantastic games. Uh, so, yeah. But anyway, that wraps up for this little news update roundup speculation opinions video. 
you know, kind of a little bit long, a lot more opinion based than news, but you know, like I said, I'm just going off what we know so far. But in the future, I will be doing more news updates. So if you all are excited about this series and want to keep on seeing more, make sure to drop a like in the comment, it helps out tremendously. And uh, I'll make sure to keep on pumping out news updates as fast as possible. Anyway, uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. See you all, have a good day. Peace, come on, right.